place, a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back. Take my time, just enjoy the ride. A new man passing by. Life is good, best I've ever felt. Get me up, so in. morning guys welcome back to a new vlog it's time for my morning matcha which has easily become one of my favorite parts of the day i started to add this daily wellness collagen powder into my matcha it's from great lakes wellness it's such an easy addition to get so many benefits for my hair skin nails and joints you can put it into any hot or cold beverage that you want to as you can see here i put it in with my milk and I use a frother to mix it all together but then also add that extra little bit of broth to my milk and regardless it just dissolves super quickly and it's completely tasteless it's unflavored too but i'm so excited to be taking collagen to support my hair and skin health especially growing stronger nails now that we're headed into the colder months if you don't want the bovine collagen which is the daily wellness they also have a pescatarian friendly alternative the daily marine collagen comes with 100 wild caught fish and delivers the same odorless tasteless quick dissolving amazingness as their daily wellness i highly recommend this product i do have two promo codes for you one carissa 20 that'll get you 20 percent off your first purchase and also carissa 25 which would give you 25 percent off a two-month subscription plus free shipping i'll have all of the details linked down in the description and thank you so much to great lakes wellness for sponsoring this portion of today's vlog babe come get your matcha mm, best part of the day do you taste anything different? <laughs> or no? See them? I actually put collagen mm. in yours. Do you realize? No. It's completely tasteless, huh? Yeah, really good. Take a bit. Yeah, you're welcome. Bro. Yeah, my favorite thing. The fact that you can't taste anything in this at all. It's pretty incredible. But I really quickly wanted to show you what it looks like up close. So this is the powder. And this is in the Daily Wellness one. So this is in the Bovine Collagen Powder. And in the um, Pescatarian option, which is the Daily Marine 100% Wild Caught Fish, you can see that it looks exactly the same. So just really quickly wanted to show you what they look like side by side, both completely odorless and tasteless and all of that. So depending on which type of collagen you want, there is an option for both. I'm so excited that I've integrated this into my routine and it's just so easy because I can just pour it directly into my matcha. It doesn't change the taste of my matcha at all. And I'm still getting all these like amazing benefits for my hair, my nails and my skin and my joints. So I am so excited about that. Yum.
Good morning, babes. Say good morning. Morning. <laughs> Juan and I are off to just go to Whole Foods and go to Trader Joe's. Avocado oh, toast. I really want avocado toast. When I went to Matcha Magic and had their avocado toast, I like became a little bit obsessed with it. So now I kind of want to try to recreate it. So we're gonna get some stuff for that, but then just also other things that we need for our house. Maybe think about lunch, maybe think about dinner tonight. Excellent day. like a big slice. Okay, we're gonna smash the avocado. I mean, you can just like cut it and lay it if that's your preference. But I think avocado will go a little bit farther if we smash it. We're just using a single avocado to go between, I guess, these three slices here. Yummy. Should we put the tomatoes on so that, like, the oil and stuff we put over top? Flip it, babe. Flip them. So it's pretty. Oh, that's it. Do, 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 do. No, you'll want them. Trust. Trust no. the, the process, babe. <laughs> Yummies? Salty. And then we picked up some microgreens. This is an arugula one. I'm really excited about this. Is this not the fanciest avocado toast you ever did see? Are you excited? Yeah, I'm super hungry. <laughs> this looks so tasty. Okay, Juan's well, sitting at the couch watching a podcast. Game scoop. Let's see how this tastes. How was it, babe? I decided to take some pictures, so I stole one of his. You're gonna have to come get it. Mm. We got this multigrain toast or bread from. Whole Foods from like the fresh bakery section. Yeah, this bread's really good. Yeah. The bread is key. It also doesn't have any sugar in it. I like that. I'm slightly debating giving up my cereal in the morning in favor of maybe having avocado toast for breakfast. I feel like I'm a few years behind on doing that. <laughs> Wasn't there like this big movement like years ago where everyone had like avocado toast for breakfast and was like obsessed with it? I like avocado toast, but I feel like I'm finally getting into like a semi fancier form of avocado toast. Like this is fancy to me. <laughs> Before I think I just had avocado, Frank's, everything but the bagel seasoning and like that was it. Especially with my matcha. I feel like that would be a healthier option than sugary cereal, but I mean, don't get me wrong, I love my cereal. I'm thinking about swishing it up though. Okay, I'm gonna put together these flower arrangements. We got some really pretty flowers from Trader Joe's. Very fall, love the colors of them. I'm gonna put some of this like flower food in these. So I didn't like fully strategize this when I was purchasing them. I got three bouquets. One of them is like this. Look at how fun some of these are. They're so pretty. And then this bouquet, and then this one as well. So what I'm thinking is I'm gonna put these two together since they make the biggest little bundle. And I think that they would be really pretty mixed. I was originally gonna mix these ones, I think, with these. 
but I want to split it between two vases and one that has like a larger opening than the other so I think that these might work in here I don't know we'll start with these other ones first and then we'll see I'm gonna put it in this big vase right here I got this from Target a while ago why is there a dog barking what's happening outside <laughs> so I'm gonna need to cut off like I think quite a bit Maybe not quite a bit. Nah, we'll start here. And then we'll see how it looks. I think I'm gonna try to keep as much of like all of these little ones on the bottom as much as possible because they're all attached, you know, to have like the flowers. And I also want it to be more full. For this one, I'm gonna have it pretty short. Hopefully I can cut these. You know, I just remembered I have actual <laughs> little cutters because I have it for my plant, like my tree. It's so much easier than using scissors. Yep. So pretty. I love that. That really worked out. This one though, I think I could have used like one more pack, but I think it works. I think this one could be really cute right here. Right on her? This is so pretty. I'm so glad that I got some flowers. It just makes your home feel so homey, you know? And this vase, by the way, I got off of Amazon. Love the rib texture. Kind of looks like my drinking glasses that I have, actually. I really like it. What do you think, Oliver? <laughs> do you not like them? Wait, why not? Do you like them? Do you like the pretty flowers? Okay, I'm so, so sorry. Go back to sleep. I got a few packages delivered today. Most of them are from Amazon. I also ordered Juan a new pair of jeans. He ripped a hole in the crotch of like his daily jean. <laughs> so I was trying to find a new pair of jeans for him. This one was on sale at Nordstrom. Seven for all mankind. It looked like a good like medium wash that he could wear every day. Babe, do you see your jeans? Yeah. They look nice. You have to see what they look like on. Yeah, I'll try them later. Okay. And then for Amazon, oh, Oliver, you want to come over? Mostly everything that I got is to improve my matcha setup game. I'm converting like this little area right next to the kettle, as you guys would have seen, to instead of having like Oliver's food being like my tea and matcha setup, because in the drawers right in front of it is all of like the tea bags. So it's always been like that and it had like the mugs right next to it, right? But yeah, I'm trying to have like a better mix for tea and matcha and matcha, you know, 
love the setup of all of it. I think it's so freaking cute. So I got this Airscape. It's a stainless steel container essentially that holds matcha or any other food, spice, powder, coffee, like whatever you want. It's a hold, but it helps keep the air out and it helps keep it fresh. And I really liked the look of it. They have different colors, but I ended up just getting the black one and I got the small size, but they have this in three different sizes. So if you want to use this for like coffee grounds or coffee beans and stuff that could work too but it has a top cover but in the inside which is really unique it has another lid essentially but this you push down and it takes all the air out so you can keep it super fresh which is kind of cool ah yes I wanted to see about getting a different strainer for my matcha which I forgot to even do this morning. They said that this is black. It's kind of like a black stainless steel. I was imagining it to be more black like this, but I wanted to have just like a matching setup. This is really nice. And the handle is a lot longer than the current one that I have. And I wanted one with a longer handle. You can see that this one's made for tea because it has this dip, but I think that this would still work just fine for anything else, right? And then I wanted to get kind of like, a utensil holder kind of like one that you would have next to the stove but one that i can put say this in but then also like measuring spoons matcha accessories essentially so i saw this travertine holder on amazon and i thought it might be perfect i was hoping it wasn't gonna be too big it is kind of big though no it's short i'll have to see if this even works out i might have to find something else that's like smaller but this is beautiful it's really heavy really good quality so i imagined stuff like this sitting in it and it being like more aesthetic for a setup there's one more thing that i have coming it's gonna come tomorrow though and i got like wood measuring spoons with really long handles and i thought that that would look really cute sticking out of that i had like a vision in my mind and i thought it was cute <laughs> we'll see if it even pans out you know how like that usually goes oh so i also got a second milk frother. Juan uses mine for his coffee, which is fine, but I thought it might be useful to have like a second one. And this one doesn't take batteries, it just gets charged USB. I got it in white though, but it's dirty. It's the same brand as my other one, but they just have another version that is rechargeable versus taking the batteries. You can see it's kind of dirty. But yeah, I like that it has a lid. Maybe I should get the black one actually because if maybe I can keep it in here. And then I found this marble phone stand and I wanted this to go on my desk. I was leaning my phone up against my monitor or at least flat and I wanted to just be like standing up, but I couldn't find anything that was like really cute. And then I came across this. And I was like, well, maybe this fits the bill. So it's just marble and then your phone will sit in it like this, I imagine. Oh, that's cute. I'm excited about that. Okay, that's it. A fun little like Amazon haul here. I'll link all this stuff down below for you guys. Okay, it's time to sit down and read a little bit. I mean, this is the definition I feel like of um, a really wholesome balanced weekend is just spending the time relaxing in whatever way best suits you, right? But for me, like to get out of my head for a bit to like truly relax, reading has been an amazing escape for me. And to my amazing surprise, when I got back from my traveling, Lucy Score came out with her third book, Things We Left Behind. And you guys know I'm obsessed with this series. The first book is Things We Never Got Over. And the second book is Things We Hide From The Light. I binged read those so quick and I was dying for the third book to come out. I actually thought it came out in October. And when I got back, I think I saw it on TikTok or something like that. Cause I follow a lot of like the book talk the book talk? That sounds wrong. Like TikTok, book talk. Yeah, yeah. Sort of um, things. And somebody was in a bookstore and I saw it like on the shelves and I go, wait, what? 
that can't be the third book. Is that the third book? But yeah, she already released it at the beginning of September. So I immediately bought it. It arrived the next day and I am so excited. I haven't been able to dedicate that much time to reading it since I got it because I've just been like really busy like with work and some other things. So that's why I feel like it's really important. Right now I have some free time, some time to like just really truly relax that I want to sit here and read a bit and like truly make a dent in this book because what I have right now is like super pathetic. But if you like spicy romance sort of books, especially like involving small towns and you like a little bit of mystery and crime, like I feel like these books would be totally up your alley. They really captivate me and I am obsessed. And who doesn't love like a little bit of a bad boy too, you know? I love that bag. And though the day is really flying by, I just put the sheets in the dryer, so that's going. So I might just sit here until that is done and then we can go make the bed, get that over. And then there's a few more things that I really wanna get to today, but yeah, really just a lot of hanging out at home. My favorite thing in the world, you guys. I'm such a homebody such a homebody like nothing makes me happier than a sunny day and just like having the sun enter the house and just like not doing anything oh my god makes me so happy Just remembered. No. I'm whispering so that Juan doesn't hear me. <laughs> so I just remembered that I got a foot massager like three weeks ago, something like that. It was on a whim. I saw it on like a lightning deal on Amazon and I was like, oh my gosh, I really want this because in Vietnam we ended up getting a foot massage and I kind of like fell in love with it and I was like, oh my god. I love my feet being rubbed, right? And so I got the foot massager and then Juan came home and like laughed at me when he saw it. And he was like, what is this? What is this? Since then, he has been using it more than me and has been like taking over it. And I was just gonna say, oh my God, I just remembered about the foot massager. I should be reading while massaging my feet and go over that, right? And then I turn around and Juan has his feet in the foot massager playing video games and he just restarted it. How am I gonna steal this from him? Cause I want it and I think that he's been using it for like the last hour, probably. You know what I mean? Let me show you. <laughs> Give me the foot massager. Wish me luck. We're going over. Hi babe. No, I haven't finished my book. <laughs> um so I was thinking. Okay. I think it's my time for the foot with the foot massager. Just that. I know. I got up and I was like, of course he just restarted it. No, no, this is my first. No, it's not. It's, my first. it's not your first. <laughs> I think you've had it for the least minimum 30 minutes. Well, let me finish but, this session. so I have to wait 15 minutes and then I can have it? Great. Yes. How's um, your video games? Which one is this? Lies of P. Lies of P? Lies of P. Lies of Pinocchio. Is it Pinocchio or P? Does P stand for Pinocchio? Yes. Okay, fine. Fun, fun, fun. Hmm. <gasps> I have a package right here. Well, there is a package outside. Oh, there is a package outside. I think so, yeah. Babe, you'll never believe what came. Something that I ordered months ago. No, <laughs> that was months ago. Months ago. I actually reached out to them like two weeks ago and I go, so like, where's my shirt? <laughs> this was supposed to ship in July and it never did. It was like pre-order or whatever. And I go, so did it come in or like what? They're like, oh yeah, pre-order is now in October. And I go, so did the other pre-order not happen? You know what I mean? Like I was so confused. Anyways, look at that. It finally came. I just got a notification today that it was shipped and then it was delivered today. So I was like, interesting. Apparently I'm a inner Miami fan now. The youth sizes for t-shirts because 
they fit better. So I got a youth medium. You know what I mean? Like it's not too long or anything. I don't like women's because they like shape it and it has like girly details like around the collar is like thinner. I'm like not a fan of it. So I always go for like the kid ones. Funny no? What else came? Lululemon. So babe, I know you wanted me to get you workout shirts, remember? With that same style that you really liked. So they don't make that style anymore. I saw this one, it's called the Peak. It's an oversized fit. I think that this one maybe is for working out. I don't know. It feels similar, but okay. I can try that. And I forgot that there was a package that was delivered from Nordstrom. Nordstrom restocked some skim stuff, but then also like dropped a few things as well. Got the sweatshirt to try out. I gotta be honest, it doesn't feel like the best quality. So I'm kind of disappointed in it. We'll see how it fits and how it looks on though when I get to it. But then I also got the sweatpants to match it as well. I do like the waistband on this, how it's like a thinner waistband, unlike the other gray sweatpants that I have. Also got like this little boxer with tank top sets. Super cute. Love the contrasting seams. That's cute. Fits everybody camisole. This is the cropped version. I think I showed this in the vlog right before this where I got it in a longer version too. We'll see how that works out. This I'm pretty excited about. This is um, fits everybody, but it's the maxi skirt. And then it actually has a zipper in the back to create like a slit in the back so it's easier to walk. I know that this probably would have better worked if I got it in the summertime, but I'm wondering if maybe I can make it work in the fall time with some like high boots, like knee high boots or something like that. Perhaps it would be cute, especially like with the matching camisole, putting like a blazer over top of it, some vibe like that. Also the fits everybody mock neck looked interesting. This is actually, you can't really tell, but this is in a gray color versus all of this is in black. They also had a tube top option. I love the fits everybody bandeau top. So I was curious how the tube top would compare to it. So I ended up getting this in a size extra small, even though the bandeau tops I get in a small. So I'm hoping that this will work, but I thought it would be really cute as a set with a skirt. And then last but certainly not least. Oh, no, this is the cropped camisole. Which one was this? Did I get it in just two colors? Maybe I did, but here's the full length one. Gonna be like right about where my belly button is. And this one's like really cropped. I feel like this is more so my vibe. I thought it was gonna be like a little bit longer. This is really, really cropped. But anyways, that's all the skim stuff that I got. Have to try it all on, see how it all works out. Patiently waiting for my turn to use the foot massager. I think I'm just gonna sit here and read because I'm gonna move the foot massager to be in my ear. <laughs> do this. Power, need, speed. Let's start just low. Air intensity, medium. Perfection. Time, 30 minutes. What? <laughs> I'm kind of thinking this is one of the best purchases that I've made in a while. A couple weeks ago when Juan's cousin and his wife and sister and all that sort of stuff came to visit, they used this so much and then Juan uses it a ton as well. I did not anticipate it to get that much use. Super happy that it obviously is, but man, this just like works. It's magic. You can see I still have like the thing on. Okay, so it heats up. So my feet are like gonna be really toasty by the end of the 30 minute, which I just love having warm feet. The air intensity is essentially like the squeezing of in the inside. And then need speed is the massage rolling part of it. And then this is like the timer part, but uh, yes, let's sit back and relax. So it's just after 7.30 right now. We're gearing up for dinner. We're gonna make some homemade burgers. One of our specialties. <laughs> right, babe? Yeah. We make some really good burgers, you know, not to like 
to our own horn over here. So Juan is heating up the barbecue, getting it prepped to go for the burgers, the patties. And I'm starting to like cut the cheese, pickle, onion, all of um, that good stuff. If you want to try some really good burgers, go to Whole Foods and get the, was it country beef? Sorry if this is slightly disgusting, but it's the country natural beef butchers blend burgers. It comes in a pack of two. Not sure if they're sold anywhere else. Looks like they're made in Oregon. So I don't know if like they're just available in like the Pacific Northwest, for instance, or if they're available everywhere, but look into them nonetheless, because they are the best patties like I've ever had. And then we mix it with these buns that are also from Whole Foods. We've gotten similar buns to this, right? That are like available at Safeway oh, yeah, yeah. as yeah, well. Brioche. Yeah, the brioche buns, that's the key. Don't get like standard hamburger buns, get like the brioche hamburger buns and it makes your burger oh, incredible. Babe, I can smell the bread coming through this. Like I'm so excited for it. Do you want another piece of cheese? I, I cut- You cut extras? I cut one extra. Well, technically two, but one each. Ta-da! The most popular Argentine drink, Fernet with Coke. <laughs> okay, it's been a while since I've tried Fernet. How do you explain that? It has like a pepper, pepperiness to it, like a, like a kick. It's bitter. Bitter? Would, would that be described as smoky? No. No. I'm not very good at describing drinks, I gotta be honest. It's bitter, but with the Coke it gets sweet. Yeah. And it's a, what we call an acquired taste, so nobody likes it the first time. I guess the recommended ratio is 70% Fernet, 30% Coke. I think what also to say to it is that typically this is a drink that the men drink, not the women. Like I've never seen women drink this in Argentina. Like your sister, your mom, none of like our friends. It's always like men drink it. Not to say women obviously can't drink it, but it seems like a popular drink for men. There's a mint fernet, which is I think more popular. <laughs> what is that? Oh, the extra little bit that you poured on top? No. Not a fan of it. Hey, do you want your leftover Coke? You should try it though. If you haven't tried it out before, you can buy it at like Total Wine and all that sort of stuff. Easily available. Here's the burger with some cheese on it. Let's put some pickles. I said this earlier, we typically have avocado. Did I say that earlier? I don't know, but I opted for no avocado. And there we have it. We just started watching Welcome to Wrexham. That is Wrexham soccer team. It's in Wales and it's on Hulu and it's a TV show like documentary style following around this football club since Ryan Reynolds and Rob, what's his last name? From it's, it's, always, <laughs> it's Always Sunny in Philadelphia bought this club. So this was popular news, what, two years ago? Yeah. So we just found it. We're just now watching it. There is two seasons of it. Do you know if there's gonna be a third season? Probably. Yeah, I told you so. <laughs> <laughs> True. It's really good so far. So if you're into soccer or sports and documentary style shows, or maybe like your husband is really into soccer, I recommend it. I really like it. Even if you're not like too into it, it's kind of fun just to see like Ryan Reynolds and stuff like that. What do you think so far? Yeah. You like it? I think it's a good intro to Soccer, too. Yeah. So we watched an episode right before making dinner. We're gonna watch another episode right now. They're pretty short. They're like 23 minutes, so it's pretty good. And then after, we're gonna end up having like a movie night. I think we're gonna watch Haunted Mansion because it's out on Disney Plus now. It's a little movie night, babe. Yeah. I'm excited. Halloween. I don't do horror, so I'm all down for the Disney Halloween movies. <laughs>